In this question, we need the equation of the line that goes through the point one quarter, three fifths, and is perpendicular to this line. The first thing we notice is that this line does not have any x values in the equation. That means it will simplify to y equals number, and it is a horizontal line. Any line that is perpendicular to a horizontal line has to be a vertical line. And any vertical line that goes through this point would have to have the equation x equals one quarter. So there's a shortcut that allows me to write a correct answer to this question without showing any work. But if I'm doing an exam, I usually have to show my work in order to get full marks. I have to justify this answer in some way. Well, here's a way of doing that. We know that the slope of any horizontal line has to be zero. And the easiest way to express the number zero in the form of a fraction is zero over one. So assuming that its slope is zero over one, we can proceed in the same way that we do with an oblique line. m1 equals zero over one. m1 is perpendicular to m2. Therefore, m2 must be equal to the negative reciprocal of zero over one which is negative 1 over 0. Now this fraction, of course, is undefined, but we can still use it to derive our equation. Negative 1 over 0 is equal to y minus 3 fifths over x minus a quarter. Cross multiplying, negative 1 times x minus a quarter will be equal to 0 times y minus 3 fifths. Of course, 0 times anything is 0, so this becomes negative x plus 1 quarter equals 0. This is the right answer in standard form, and this answer cannot be given in slope-intercept form. So therefore, the equation of the line that goes through the point 1 quarter 3 fifths and is perpendicular to this line is negative x plus one quarter equals zero. This equation is in standard form, but we can rewrite it as one quarter equals x, moving the negative x to the other side and changing its sign, or we can write this as x equals one quarter. It's the same answer we have here, but we now have found a way to justify that answer. In this example, we are being asked to give the equation of a line that goes through the point negative point 0.8, negative point 0.2, and is perpendicular to 0x minus y minus 3.4 equals 0. Looking at this equation, we can see that there is no x term. So therefore, this is a horizontal line. Any line that is perpendicular to a horizontal line must be a vertical line. And the only line that is vertical that goes through this point would have to have the equation x equals negative 0.8. So we can write down our answer without justifying it. But to earn full marks in an exam question, we would be expected to justify this somehow. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use the slope formula that goes with the standard form, m equals negative a over b to find the slope of this line. a is 0 and b is negative 1, so this becomes negative 0 over negative 1. I'll cancel the two negative signs and I'll say this is equal to 0 over 1. 0 over 1 is a fraction that reduces to 0 and therefore it is a valid slope of this horizontal line. Since m1 equals 0 over 1 and m1 is perpendicular to m2, the slope of the perpendicular line must be the negative reciprocal of 0 over 1. Therefore, m2 is equal to negative 1 over 0. And I can use this fraction to find the equation of the line I'm looking for. Negative 1 over 0 is equal to y minus x minus, and I use this point. So it becomes y minus negative 0 0.2, x minus negative 0 0.8. Cross multiplying, I get negative 1 times x 
plus 0.8 is equal to 0 times y plus 0.2. Of course, 0 times anything is equal to 0, so the right side becomes 0. The left side becomes negative x minus 0 0.8 equals 0. Now, if I move that negative x to the other side, I will have negative 0 0.8 equals positive x, and I can write this backwards, x equals negative 0 0.8. I have, of course, gotten the same answer that I knew all along I would get, but now I have found a way to justify it.